All right, back at the short hiatus. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with Motor City Sports Talk, and um, we talked about Saquon Barkley, I believe, last time out. And um, you know, in the event that the Lions don't trade up for him, which is you know not probably going to happen, historically the Lions don't take chances in the draft. Um, usually because they always draft them high, and you know, last couple of years have been a little bit different. Different. You know, but what would be the next best scenario for the Lions in the draft? And I'll do another video later on showing how the Lions could acquire more picks by, unlo by unloading some guys they already have on the roster. And I'll explain why. Some people may be happy. Some people may be mad about it. But you know it is what it is. But the pick let's say they just keep the five draft picks they got, okay? What would be the best scenario? And that would be based off of free agency. Because the Lions' most dire need other than a running back position is front seven. They need pass rushers. In free agency, ain't a lot of edge rushers. It's good interior linemen. You know, you have, you know, Starlay Lute, who we get into a free agency spotlight. We're going to start it back up tonight, God willing. You have uh, Dante Poe, Sheldon Richardson, Benny Logan. You got a lot of guys there that's for good, for good, you know, for good value. But I think it's important for the Lions. You may see a lot of ton of cash spaces to do something with Ziggy Ansa, which we talk about later on, um, and create more cash space. But for simply in the draft and simply for free agency, the, the edge rusher is simply not there. You know, not this year. And where the Lions will be drafting that. So they got to do their due diligence and find a diamond in the rough there. But uh, that's why they had to bring Ziggy back because this, this draft and this free agency ain't dip, deep in, in pass rushers. But they have depth at, pass, at outside well, edge rushing. You know, K. Hyder's trying to come back. Zettel is a depth guy. He's not a starter. Ziggy is obviously a starter. He still had 12 sacks last year. And hopefully he get healthy. So you need a you need you know at least two more defensive edge rushers in my opinion defensive end you need you need somebody that can hold their own on the other side for real and um, you just need some more depth you know but as amongst the running backs let's say hypothetically in this scenario they address the front seven for the most part you know you go into the draft probably a need for a linebacker maybe some uh, just a need for a linebacker maybe. Eh, you know, maybe a need for another DB. It it just depends on what they do in free agency. Let's just say they address the front seven. They need another two defensive players, whatever it may be, with these five picks. You have to tell me that this Darius guy, hopefully I'm saying his name right, from LSU, and I've been watching him. He suffered some injuries as well. Is he better? Is it a large talent gap from him and the rest of the, the running backs that may be available? Kerryon Johnson, Naheem Hines, who I really, really like. Um, Nick Chubbs, Sonny Michelle. And Rashad Penny. Now, you know, this scenario, if the Lions get a running back like Carlos Hyde or a good power, you know, a good balance back, Deion Lewis or, you know, Isaiah Crow or whatever it may be, they bring a veteran in, okay? Then I say probably know the Darius guys. I'll address what I need to address, you know, other places. But if I get to the second and third round, you know, then I look at a guy. Like Rashad Petty, I look at a Sony Michelle, Nick Chubbs, who was very, who had blew out the combine, but he had a lot of injuries. Carry on Johnson, I look at these guys, you know, but you know, do is the talent gap from Darius Geis to Rashad Penny to Chubbs to Sony to Naheem Himes to Carry on Johnson that that you know is it that deep? Is it a big talent gap? Now, if you say you know Darius Geis is the next best thing to Saquon Barkley, well, we all know that, right? But is it, you want to do your due diligence. Is it anybody that can come close to what Darius Guy can can do? Is it any of these guys that can do that? You know, and if he's the best player on the board, the best player available, depending on what you're doing for it, I'll take him. I guess you have to take him. Because he might be a game-changing talent. The tape shows that on LSU, he probably faced more eight, nine-man boxes than anything anybody else in the country. In the power in the power conferences, okay. So he come to Detroit. I, I think I think he kind of cuts the cart the scaling curve back a little bit because he ain't gonna see no eight nine man boxes in Detroit. It ain't gonna happen. But let's say you do bring a Carlos Hyde, a Deion Lewis, or somebody like that in. You got two people on here that gives you versatility as well. You got you know Rashad Penny who could, could return kicks, catch it out the backfield and run it. Naheem Himes. Wearing a four three eight, catch it out the backfield, uh, run it and kick return as well. 
So if you get you a Carlos Hyde, or you get you, you know, a running back that's that, that's that got some stability, a veteran. I mean, you pass up on Darius guys knowing that these guys could be there in the second and third round. That's explosive. You know, Rashad Penny ran a four four what, four four six, and he's a bigger back. Naheem Naheem Hines is is a diamond in the rough. He's explosive. He's the home run hitter that the Detroit Lions need. But in Darius Geis, you get, you know, you get everything in him. So if you feel that, let's say the Lions don't address the running back with a with a uh, with a good veteran. It's just a uh, you know, it's just a filler at the at the running back position. They get a, a middle of the road type of guy. Then I think your your pick may be Darius Geis, but will he be there? Will he be there? I think somebody's gonna take him in the top fifteen in my opinion after that pro day. I, I don't know. Maybe he could slide down to twenty or something like that. But I don't I don't think he's gonna be there. In my opinion. And I like Kerryon Johnson's will. I didn't see his 40 time. I don't know what it is, but on tape, I like what he brings to the table. Nick Chubbs and Sonny Michelle, I like both of them. You probably get them in the third, fourth round because Chubbs got injuries. Sonny Michelle a beast. But my pretty penny, man, I'm going. It depends what they do in free AC, but I like Geis. If Geis falls, I like him. I like Penny and I like Hines. Period. Those are the three I like. If they bring in a veteran running back like Hyde or or, or uh, somebody like in that nature, Hyde, you know, Deion Lewis, somebody like that, you know, then I, if it was Deion Lewis, I like I like guys. Let me put it to you that. If it was Deion Lewis, if it was Carlos Hyde, somebody like that, power back, you know, with some catching ability that can, that's a workhorse, I like Hines and Penny. You know, I like Penny regardless because he's tough, he's strong. But we'll see what the Lions do. Um, but, but if Darius guys is there, and they don't make a free big free agent splash like Le'Veon Bell or trade for Le'Veon Bell or something like that, or Carlos Hyde or something like that. I go Darius Geis. I think he's special. And then Hines, Penny, then Hines. But let me know what y'all think. We got.